Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto and today guys we are taking a, another look at Cardano and um, specifically price prediction for the ADA token. Um, so there's a lot going on here isn't there Chris? Mm, so much going on at the moment Nick. And obviously there's a big question that always comes with this and that is, is it too late to get into Cardano? I can't explain, Nick, but like I, I must read, I don't know, there's got to be a couple of thousand comments, you know, a day. Um, and this one comes up so much. Like, is it too late to get in? Should I get in today? The market's up a little bit. Should I wait? You know, it's just nonstop, very similar questions. So we thought we'd do a video on it, didn't we, Nick? Absolutely. So hopefully this uh, will help uh, people understand exactly what's going on here and, you know, whether or not it's too late to get in or, uh, you know, maybe it's actually the prime time. Um, so if you do find this video useful, informative, and all that usual jazz, go ahead and smash that like button. Chris really appreciates it. I really appreciate it. And secretly, we know you appreciate it too. Look and of look course, you, begging. <laughs> that is me e-begging there, e-begging. Um, and I'm gonna do some more, Chris, because if you're not yet subscribed, do go ahead and subscribe by subscribing. You will be kept up to date with all of the videos and live streams that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. And YouTube does a fantastic job at sending you a 30 minute notification before we go live. So why not, right? And I was gonna, I was gonna say, Nick, for everybody that has subscribed, like really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Uh, and yeah, let's let's just continue this this journey, um, you know, of investment in crypto. It's amazing. It's a fantastic it space. Absolutely awesome. And do you guys are awesome for, um, you know, for enabling us to continue this channel uh, in the way that we do. So really appreciate each and every single one of our um, amazing subscribers. Um, but Chris, this is a Cardano video as well. So before we get into the charts and we take a look at some price predictions, it's probably worth talking about the pool as well. Yeah, you know, and juicy rewards because everybody loves a juicy reward, right? Um, no, but like the the, the Cardano uh, pool was set up maybe four, possibly five weeks ago now, and it's just gone from strength to strength. So, you know, if you're already delegating, um, you know, uh, hats off to you. You've done an amazing job. We're now sat at you know just under four million. Uh, ADA uh, delegated to the pool, which is remarkable, guys, uh, and much appreciated. Um, but not only does it support the channel, it also supports Cardano in you know making sure that the the, the project you know is decentralized. And obviously, it's already the most decentralized project. But you know, you guys are making that even more decentralized by delegating uh, into to the Cardano pool, right? Um, you know. You, you you obviously get uh, rewards as well. I think uh, the AP, APY is normally around five percent uh, for for an average pool, right? Um, but we we did really well last week um, on the lottery, didn't we, Nick? So um, the rewards should be really really healthy for everybody that you know was was in the pool when we won that lottery. So I think uh, it's about five times the normal rewards, um, yeah. Which I, I guess is you know a, a thanks from the 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 Cardano gods for, <laughs> for having faith in that pool, um, and long may that continue. Um, but yeah, you can. Um, delegate uh, using the ticker cheek if you wish to delegate to our pool and we would love to have you mint in blocks with us um, and you can do this through the normal wallets the deadliest wallet the ADA light wallet atomic wallet and the URI wallet um, and I think I'll, I'll stop uh, you know <laughs> pitching it Fantastic. <laughs> it pitches itself to be honest yeah. Nick. I mean yeah just does that, you don't need to sell it because it sells itself I mean who it doesn't does. want to you know earn a passive income um, on something as fantastic as Cardano and the ADA token. So anyway, um, with all that done and out of the way, Chris, let's jump on over to the Cardano to USD chart. Um, so this is just the Cardano to USD chart on the daily. Um, and we're just going to talk a little bit about, you know, uh, what's going on in this chart. And um, is it actually, you know, too late to get involved with uh, with ADA? So you know, Cardano actually seems to be finding a pretty good foothold, Chris, um, just above the 87 cent level. OK, and it's done so for, for quite some time. And um, you know, recently we've had pullbacks, uh, we can see here. So my 87 cent area is obviously the, the blue line. We've had the pullbacks and we've obviously had the wicks coming in there. So it is a bit of resistance there uh, at that um, 87 cents. But um, once we get past there, which we'll go through the chart and we'll go into that in detail, um, we can see that actually it's going to be a good support area for us. 
So there are a few signals here that are turning bullish rather than bearish. So there is a bit of an inevitable swing, um, you know, to the upside. So we're going to get into a lot of that and see what's going on. Um, but the Cardano price is able to, you know, recover very, very quickly from this brutal, um, you know, percentage drop. I think it was about 21% here. And um, this is basically when Bitcoin had a bit of a correction. The whole market kind of had the similar kind of thing happen. And ultimately, yeah, it's done very, very well to, to correct itself very quickly. I mean, it's just a testament to, you know, exactly what's going on here with Cardano. And obviously, you know, specifically, guys, this... Um, this actually hit the 618 Fibonacci level. So a really good area here that basically ticks the box to say we've had a bit of a retracement. We've ticked off the 618 area, which is fantastic. So the four hour chart, which we'll get into in a moment, um, it does show that there are, you know, there's some opportunities maybe for even a 60% upswing. So we're going to get into that as well, which is why being below this 87 cent um, area, this foothold area, could be a good time to you know really take uh, the stock of the situation and um, and acquire some more if you want to be in that accumulation mindset. So it's uh, it's an important thing that we kind of do this video now. I feel Chris mm, for sure. Um, so you know Cardano's price is uh, yeah it's poised for a breakout, and I'm going to show you why that might be um, as we get into this chart as well. Um, so let's um, let's dig a little bit deep, Chris, and um, see what's going on, right? So on this hourly chart here, we can obviously see all of these candles, this consolidation, um, as we kind of found a top, okay? One of the things that we were speaking about was the need to find the top of this particular rally to the top side here, okay? And it was good to see that we finally found it. We ran out of steam when we were very much overbought on our RSI, and the volumes kind of petered out as well. So the volumes have started to decrease here you could see exactly what was going to happen. Now, we obviously hit that uh, 786 area and it um, was up here for a while and then Bitcoin's correction came in um, and that pulled us down just to that 618 area on that Fibonacci retracement. So with that done and out of the way, um, it, that could be virtually the extent of our correction here um, and it might just be appearing to be so. Obviously, we would normally expect to have one of these three hit, right? 618, the 50, or um, the 382. One of those three is normally what you would see in a um, standard kind of correction. It doesn't always happen, but it's something in there that you would normally see. So that candle is a very important candle. Now, the RSI is actually declining nicely uh, as we've had this kind of sideways trading here. Um, it's still overbought at about 75 uh, on this um, daily chart, okay? Um, and obviously the MACD only ever follows what the RSI does. So it, yeah, that's fine. So let's pull this down, Chris, into our four hourly view. And this shows us a little bit more of what's actually gone on. We obviously had that top, and then we obviously had the sideways trading, and obviously that one candle here, which took out the 618 Fibonacci level, okay? We can see the resistance area here. This is the 87.8 cent uh, resistance, and uh, currently just a little bit below there. Now, the thing that's really important here is you can see the volumes going up, coming down, going up again. So we got to that top end here, and then declined, um, and that decline took us below that 87 cent area. Then they have pretty much been flat for the most part, a little bit of turbulence, but relatively flat, um, even whilst we had that major correction down here to the 618 Fibonacci level. And since then, the volumes haven't picked up, so we haven't been able to push too far above the uh, resistance of 87.8 cent, okay? But the RSI is now heavily corrected. We came down as low as 41 before bouncing up to uh, this area here and most recently calling down um, just below 50 at about 49. Okay, on that RSI, it's right slap back in the middle. And obviously we're seeing that the MACD is following the same trend as our RSI, obviously. So, you know, on this four hourly chart, we can see some massive potential, necessarily because we're in this area here where if the volumes were to really kick in, um, we could take this thing all the way back up to the overbought area and really push up into our new prices and that's new price area heading towards our first price target. So lots going on on that four hourly chart, but it gets better when we start looking at the one hourly chart. Okay, so on this one hourly chart, we can see the volumes and just how really flat they are. They're still high-ish, but they're not doing a lot, right? They're just pretty flat. And obviously we can see that correction here uh, hitting that 168 uh, area. Um, and the volumes just, yeah, they weren't amazing. They were just kind of petering along um, in their usual kind of state. But we can see, obviously, how much this um, area of that 87 cent is crucial in both 
working as resistance and as support uh, in multiple different areas. And most recently, it's uh, an area that we are pushing up against re uh, resistance. But our RSI is correcting nicely on this hourly chart. So this is a really important takeaway. That's um, as this for approaching 40, it's 42 currently, in the next few hours, I'd anticipate this thing getting nice and low and then potentially even coming down to a point where it's actually oversold. And if this is the case and down here approaching the 30, we have a lot of potential to the upside. We can become overbought um, very, very well if we have the volumes behind it. So the volumes are high but flat, so that could be problematic. Ideally, we would actually like to see the volumes peter off down a little bit lower so that they can have a massive pro uh, volume spike, which will also tally with the RSI. So things are starting to line up a little bit, but the volume's a little bit of a concern for me. Um, but nonetheless, as we get down here, um, if the volume does decide to, to spike up, we are going to be um, breaching that 87.8 area. And um, yeah, moving ahead, because we do know that 92 cent is another area of concern. So let's just pull this up into our daily view. Okay, so we obviously have that 87 cent area as uh, resistance currently, and we're pushing up against that. Um, we can obviously see that our RSI is actually, you know, just below, um, you know, 50 and heading towards 40 currently on the hourly, and the volumes are very, very flat. Okay, um, so there's still a bit, lots of potential to a massive price swing. So one thing that we can point out is uh, we are still obviously overbought on this RSI on the daily, um, but this could actually just deviate from plan a little bit if the volumes kick in nicely as well. Obviously, 96 cent is the top end that we had here, uh, 96.9, and we're looking to get past that. Uh, in doing so, then uh, we'll be heading towards, Chris, the very first price target that we have here for Cardano, so the price prediction um, for Cardano. And that comes in, Chris, at $1.36. That's our first price target for the ADA token. And I think that's going to happen very, very quickly. Um, I think as soon as we have the volumes lined up with the RSI, um, we're going to be you know, moving along nicely. Um, but obviously, the second price target comes in at just below $2 at $1.99. Okay, so that's the second price target. And um, you know, there might be a small kind of uh, correction, you know, or yeah, sideways steps, if you will, to get up to that point. Um, but I think, uh, Chris, as we approach the era of Gogan, um, you know, and we have uh, the Mary hard fork on the main net, we have Plutus going into test net, I think we're going to see some interesting stuff with price. And obviously, if there's some fantastic news with Africa that comes out, or if, uh, you know, even something like Coinbase were to happen, I think we're going to push through a lot of these very, very quickly. Okay, so uh, $1.36, $1.99, $2.00. And 63 and then three dollars okay so those are just the immediate price targets but i would say chris and correct me if i'm wrong i'll, I'll hand over to you in a second mm. i think that um if coinbase were to list cardano <laughs> uh, and the ada token i think all of these price targets would be hit very very quickly but what's your thoughts on all of that yeah i think there would be serious um number numbers of people getting into to cardano once it's listed on to to coinbase and i'm not you know when i say this not suggesting that there isn't serious numbers of people already in cardano because there clearly is right um but i think it just makes it so much easier for your, your average um joe not jim joe <laughs> um to, to get into to, to crypto and i think you know coinbase is always that first or seems to be anyway that first stepping stone into to crypto for for the average person right um who's who's a noob they're new to it right um so i think yeah you know quite often get why isn't it listed on coinbase when is it going to be listed on coinbase uh if only it was listed on coinbase because i could buy it then like mm -hmm. it, it I, I guess it's a confidence thing isn't it um, as much as uh, I can see people from, from people's comments, not many people like Coinbase. Um, but those are the more experienced um, people that are in crypto, right? Um, you've got to start somewhere. And so you've got to have that appreciation, I feel. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to seriously move the dial. Um, it tends to uh, have that sort of uh, increase impact on, on pretty much everything that gets listed there. Um, so yeah, I expect Cardano to be nothing different to, to what we see for for the others uh, that get listed there and um yeah the africa stuff nick um i mentioned on the last few videos i think the africa thing is uh, is huge 
Um, I won't go into all the details now. We've kind of covered that on previous videos, but you know, it, again, it's it's definitely got the ability, perhaps not immediately, but over a period of time, to seriously move the dial uh, for price discovery. Um, and you know, hats off to to Charles and the team. They've done fantastic work, right? Um, you know, I think he's probably uh, vented a little bit the other day around you know people only really being interested in the price and perhaps not appreciating the work and now, here at Cheeky Crypto, we very much appreciate the, the hard work. Um, but, you know, without investors, I guess you don't have a, a, a cryptocurrency at the same time. Yeah, I mean, you, you, kind yeah, of need you, both. you can't have uh, one without the other. It's yin yeah, exactly. and yang, isn't it? So. Um, <laughs> but definitely. But, yeah, like, and then you've got all the upgrades and everything that's happening as well. So we can't forget about those. There's just so much going on. And literally, I feel like I'm only scratching the surface in this video of the the things that are going on so there is much more than than we're talking about now um is it too late to get in which i think is the the prime question isn't it um in my humble opinion not financial advice um no it isn't i'm continuing to buy cardano in the dips um you know i expect the price to over over a, a long period of time to to really appreciate and mature right um I think that will be the same for many uh, projects, but um, for me, this project is still undervalued, in my my opinion, um, and it becomes more undervalued as the upgrades are released, as the you know the the Africa stuff gets announced, um, Coinbase listing, you know more liquidity in 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 the the project. Um, for me, all of that stuff just makes it even more undervalued. Um, because a lot of it's speculation at the moment, but I think it's speculation backed up with like the academic sort of papers and everything that that sort of goes with it. So you know, it's not like it's a a shot in the dark, is it? You know what I mean? It's it's kind of like a an educated punt, in my opinion. No, absolutely, I totally align with with that, Chris. And um, it's going to be. I, I still think there's plenty of time. Uh, in this, I still think we're going to see five dollars minimum, um, you know, during 2021 with absolutely everything that is going on. So if you're just thinking um, from an investment point of view, are you going to see a return? I'm pretty confident that you would not financial advice, mind just my uh, opinion. But I do think there's going to be a nice healthy return for most people in the Cardano um, space. Um, and obviously, you know, that really depends on how long you want to hold the tokens, as Chris was saying as well, because there are, you know, individuals like me and Chris here who may never actually exit Cardano at all. And that would be because you can earn quite a nice uh, return, a passive income by delegating it into a, a delegation pool or a staking pool. So um, lots of fantastic opportunities that come with Cardano, not just, uh, you know, hodling. Um, so lots of lots of great ways to, to get involved. So guys, hopefully this helped answer that question. If it did, then definitely do go ahead and smash that like button. Chris really appreciates it. I really appreciate it. And I like to think that you appreciate it too. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you're not yet subscribed, do go ahead and subscribe. By subscribing, we'll keep you up to date with all the various videos and live streams that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. And with all of this said and done, guys, we hope you have a fantastic day and we'll catch you all in the next one. Yeah, take care.